Hello YouTubers. Just want to take a few minutes to show you something I made um, because I heard there are great benefits to drinking alkaline water. They say the more alkaline your body is, the healthier it is. But I didn't want to spend $800 for a ionizer, so I went ahead and made my own. Now, very simple design. Now you'll see these all over YouTube. Um, this is I got two three-gallon heavier heavy plastic BPA three or BPA free water jugs. I got um, two stainless steel bolts. Um, those are acting as the electrodes. Um, right here is the positive side. That's going to be the acidic side. And you can see a little little inch and a half coupling that I got in between both of the uh, water jugs. In the semi-permeal membrane, it's just a regular sponge, folks. A $1 sponge. And I use one of my wife's um, older table mats for, uh, for gaskets. And what I have powering it, I make sure I got it clearly marked, so the the acid side, which is the positive side, we can drain that out either into the sink or just make uh, just water the garden with this water. This will be the alkaline side. I got that connected to just an old uh, Radio Shack 16 volt AC adapter, 200 milliamp, that just had lying around, so I decided to sacrifice it. So we're going to let this percolate for, oh, 12 hours to a day. And we'll see what, see what the results look like once it's done. And I might even go ahead and do a step-by-step -step video on how to make one of these because I know I have already have a few requests to make them one. My mom wants me to make her one. I'm pretty sure my in-laws are going to want me to make them one. So stay tuned and... We'll see what happens. Well, here we are six hours later. Notice the big difference. Look over on the negative side to the right. Still crystal clear. That's the alkaline side. And the positive side to the left, the acidic side, so we're getting awful brown and murky and got a lot of sediment and crud and junk in there. I'm going to take the lid off. It's not going to hurt anything. Have a look down inside. That's no noticeable smell, I guess. Go ahead and look down the alkaline side. Still clear. I'll give you a, I'll probably give you your best vantage point right there. So the side on the right is going to be for consumption. And the side on the left is going to be either discarded or going to water the plants in the garden. So I'll come back in the morning and we'll show, it, show you what it looks like in the morning. Um, as for the power supply, it's not being overtaxed at all. I mean, it's barely even warm. So, so I, I would say it's relatively safe to leave on all night. So, we'll come back in the morning. We'll show you what it looks like. See ya. Alrighty, we're back. It's been about 24 hours. Since uh, we went ahead and filled these tanks and started the process, if you were to take a look inside, now mind you, these the water was crystal clear when I put it in, but look at all this sediment. It's crazy. But look at the alkaline side, still clear. Look at the acidic side. Now. What I'm going to do 
and I'm going to draw a sample of each and I'm going to go ahead and do a pH test. Now this pH test will only test up to 8.2 so I'm hoping that it'll be a little bit more purple than that so I'm going to go ahead and pass over the camera. As you can see, it's a whole lot deeper. Looks like it's not. Hold up the light. Yeah, looks like a deeper shade than the 8.2. So that's pretty alkaline, if you ask me. Go ahead and wash it up. We'll do a little sample of the acidic water. I can't see it very light, it's too bright in there. Did you see the alkaline one? As you can see that water is acidic, it's way below 7.0, which is neutral. So, alrighty, so the first thing to do to harvest our newfound alkaline water. is to drain. Just take the top off for airflow. You have to drain the acidic side. But you don't want to drain the alkaline side out first. Because if you do, you're going to pull acidic water in with the alkaline water. And I would rather pull more alkaline in with the acidic as the acidic is draining than pull, pull acidic water into the alkaline side. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and draw this out until it gets below that piece of pipe where, where the water tanks exchange ions. So I'll just take a couple minutes. Then what I'm going to do is take a taste of the alkaline water. See that it's dipped below. So, go ahead and, go ahead and draw some alkaline water out. Not too bad. Now you want to taste it? Tastes a lot better if it's cold. She's not in here. It's good. It's good. Awesome. You want to taste it, son? Oh, yeah. What? You got your mouth full of cookie? 
Good breakfast, boy. Alrighty. Well, I got a couple plastic jugs I'm going to go ahead and fill them up with. And we're going to go ahead and get this stuff in the refrigerator and get it good and cold. So, that's how you make alkaline water. So, if you have any questions, drop me a comment, rate, subscribe. Have a good day.